Welcome back to Box Office Maniacs, and tonight I actually have a movie! I know, it's crazy, right? I have a movie to review for you guys, and that will be Annabelle Creation. So if you have watched any of our previous reviews for The Conjuring, or The Conjuring 2, or even Annabelle, you know that Vince and I were huge fans of pretty much this entire series. And The Conjuring keeps on giving. I mean, it has sequels, now it had the Annabelle spinoff, and now possibly two more spinoffs coming, so it just keeps on giving. And I didn't think I would like the first Annabelle, but I actually came out of it really enjoying it quite a lot. I really liked what they did with it, so I was looking forward, actually, to Annabelle creation. So if you're not familiar with The Conjuring, it was a movie by James Wan, incredible director, and he sort of brought back the, the scary film without all the blood and guts, you know, the jump films, the oh my god, I can't believe this movies, and I love that about The Conjuring. And then he continued it with The Conjuring 2, which I also thought was really good. He did not, however, direct Annabelle, somebody else did, but I believe he produced it, and he produced this new one. Now what these are is a series of ghost stories, basically. Now the first Annabelle was about the doll, because it's a really creepy doll. I mean, come on. Annabelle is one of the most creepiest dolls out there. They did an amazing job making her just creepy. They also did a lot of saving because she doesn't move. She's basically a conduit between her and a demon. And the demon is trying to possess her body, and is trying to come into our world through her, and she never moves on screen. She's just a, a creepy looking doll sitting there. Which is kind of like that. I like that about the first Annabelle. I thought that was kind of cool. So now we have Annabelle creation and it's sort of pretty much all the same stuff. Now this movie actually starts out really good. It has some really interesting characters and they sort of did the whole thing of making the doll in the beginning of it. It was really cool. Really cool to see him create Annabelle for the first time. Really love that. So cool. I'm not going to give out any major spoilers here, so if you haven't seen the movie, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Basically sort of a period piece, just like all the Conjuring films, pretty much. And that's the other thing I really like about these films. They all take place, I don't remember what year it was, I don't even think it said what year it was in this, but they're all, you know, in the past. And, you know, it's really cool to see that and it, continuing it in these movies. In this one, again, we have the creation, which is why it's called Creation of Annabelle, in the very beginning of the film. And then something happens in the movie, which I'm not going to spoil, but you, if you've already watched the trailer, you know what happens. And the thing is, I didn't watch the trailer. I somehow avoided all the trailers, all the scares, so I went in this fresh. I didn't know anything, literally I didn't know anything about this movie except for the title, and I knew it was a sequel or it's actually a prequel to Annabelle. That's the other thing I need to say. The first Annabelle comes after this movie. So this is actually a prequel to that. So what we get here is a old house, basically, where a man's living there and his wife, and they decide to open it up for a orphanage to bring all these young girls to come in and hopefully you know, get adopted by somebody. And then you have the one creepy room where everything is all creepy in this room. <laughs> Because you always have to have that one creepy room. But again, I'm not going to spoil anything about the story. Um, it's hard kind of to talk about this without spoiling it. But what I will say about this movie was I think this is absolutely the weakest out of all of the Conjuring films, out of all the Annabelle films. It, it's just it's just a really slow moving, just kind of, I was just, it's just I was just bored with it to tell you the truth. It was just a boring movie. I mean, there was really nothing wrong with the acting in the film. All the kids and everything did a really good job. The story, however, is like, you've seen it. You've seen it in The Conjuring. You've seen it in The Conjuring 2. You definitely saw it in Annabelle. And this story is just sort of a rehash of everything you saw in Annabelle. And there's nothing new here. And like I said, you have the creepy doll. And it's just a creepy doll. And she doesn't do anything in the film but just sit in chairs. <laughs> and looks creepy. That's all she does. Because she doesn't move. It's not her. The movie really is not literally not about her. It's about the demon, once again, that, like the first movie was, that inhabits the, the, the doll. 
And the scares here, you know, I guess I'm so used to it now because they're using the same method they used for the Conjuring and the Conjuring 2 and, and it's all the same sort of weird scares of, of the bones cracking. You know, it's just like, okay, I've seen this 20 times already. And then you have the, the tapping at the window or and then you have the slow pan towards somebody whose back's towards you and you know when they turn around it's gonna be a big scare all this stuff that it's just a a rehash like literally it's just a rehash of of everything I've seen already and there's just nothing new and I was bored to death with this movie and the other thing here is for whatever reason when they do show the the demon it's just really terrible CG it, it, I looked at the thing and I was like, that's, <laughs> I was like, wow, that's terrible looking. It's, it's horrible. So just another thing of why couldn't they just had a makeup effect or something and, and it may look cool, but it was just a terrible CG effect that they had. So the, the whole film is basically like that and it doesn't even really get interesting or moving until like the second, the third half of the film. And even then, by that time, again, you've already saw it. You, you already sort of know what's going to happen. You know what to expect. I don't know what, I don't really don't know what different they could have done in this film to make it more interesting, I guess. But, you know, just stop following the same story. It's sort of like the paranormal activity. It's like every single film has that cookie cutter formula now that it's following. And that's what made the original Conjuring so good is because it was original. It, it wasn't, nobody really saw that before. And then until they started making it again, and then again, and then again, and, and, and now you're like, okay, I get it. I understand these scares. They're not scary anymore because I'm expecting it. There was nothing in this film that made me jump. There was no tension. I wasn't frightened at, at the doll or the story or anything. It was just one of those, okay, you know, here we go again, the same thing over and over. So uh, yeah, I was really disappointed by this film. Now, was it a terrible story? Meh. I mean, like I said, it was a rehash. It wasn't a terrible story. If you've never seen the other Annabelle movies, you'd probably like this because it'd be new to you. <laughs> but I have, and it wasn't new to me. And the story wasn't horrible. The acting wasn't horrible. There were just zero scares here, though. I didn't. I mean, my, even my wife, who jumps at every horror film, she was bored by it as well. And it was just a boring film. And I really hate to say that because I love the Conjuring series. I love the, all the spin-offs that, that are coming from from the movie. And this is so far, I guess, the big bump in the road of, okay, here it is again. And I really hope they don't make an Annabelle three. And if they do, please do something different here. I mean, give us something. Yeah, I understand that she is not really a possessed doll. She's a conduit for the demon to come into our world. But hey, I know, do something with her. <laughs> so overall, as you can see, I was not crazy about this film. I was, I came out of it with a big, okay. And even my wife said the same thing. She's like, you know. <laughs> And I understand they're making another movie, another spinoff of the Conjuring films, and it's called The Nun, which if you saw Conjuring 2, that's what it's about. Even The Conjuring 1, I think she was in, I don't remember. But she was definitely in The Conjuring 2, and they're making a spinoff of that character next. And hopefully it's better than this one, because she is an actual scary character. She was pretty frightening in The Conjuring 2. And, you know, I'll, I'll go see it. I believe it comes out next year from when I heard on Friday the 13th. So you have that to look forward to. So overall, I would have to give Annabelle Creation a two out of five. So out of a year of really great films, this one is probably the biggest disappointment I've seen all year. I was really expecting, you know, some fun stuff, some scary stuff, some more insight into her character of where she came from, and it was just terrible. I just didn't like it. It was boring. And let me know what you thought of the film, because hopefully I'm not the only one out there who thinks it's terrible. <laughs> and if you also think it's terrible, let me know in the comments, or if you, even, if you liked it, 
let me know in the comments because I always love hearing from you guys. So if you want to get some notifications from me, there is a bell up there, like a little icon. You push that bell and it will pop up and let you know what my next review is. And that way we can stay connected. Sort of like the demon in Annabelle, but not as boring, I hope. <laughs>